Hi everyone. So <clears throat> I've managed to um, fire up the uh, IC7300 um, with the supplied Mydell 50 amp power supply. Supplied free of charge. Thank you, Martin Lynch and Son. And I've got it connected to one of my Wellbrook loops. Um, so I had to have a quick look on YouTube at a couple of videos because um, although I've already got, I've, I've owned couple of icon radios i've obviously got the ic756 um it's a bit different operating this radio um with a sort of touch screen um uh, i do actually but i do really like it so um in the sort of 20 minutes half an hour or so i've been playing with it um so there's a multi button here um so i've set the rf power to 15 percent, which is basically 15 watts and that's because that's the sort of power level i'm going to use when i match it to my g5 rv later on um on my other radios i've always set the um, microphone gain to 40 percent. so i've done that i've left the comp and the monitors off anyway um i if you actually so just going through it um the passband tuning which is excellent on my other icon is also excellent i've just been um tuning out uh some some adjacent channel qr qrm uh from from a signal that i was listening to Um, so basically the way that you can tune this is if you hit the, so on 7.1397 megahertz, if I hit the 7 uh, megahertz, then you get some buttons appear to, to that's, that's shortcut through to other bands. Um, or you can then just sort of key in a bit further down and then, um, you can go sort of fast and sort of slow tune. Um, it, it's pretty, when you get used to it, it's, um, uh, it's very, very e intuitive and easy to use um, see if I can hear anything else there we go um, what else so if I hit the menu button here then you get options for scope um audio um which i'm too far I'm, I'm not zoomed i'm too far zoomed in to actually see the audio uh well there's no audio right now anyway but i'm too far zoomed in uh on this on this bandwidth on the scope to actually see any audio uh and then there's options for whichever meter you want to look at alc comp swr um actually produces a graph when you're actually with a standing wave ratio graph as well um but let's just go back to meter for now um and then function so preamp attenuator agc automatic gain control notch filter noise blank and noise reduction uh that's transmit bandwidth which i've got set to mid at the moment uh, monitor you know there's various options here um and then what i've also done if you go to settings here what's really important in amateur radio is your is the tone the audio quality when you're transmitting and um to be honest with you uh, i've had a few issues in the past with um with the sort of quality of my audio on my yaesu ft991 it's been too bassy but there are far few ways of adjusting the audio on the 7300 so i've actually turned the treble down i've turned the bass down a bit on here and turned the treble up uh, and i'm using the wide filter um on the uh well actually well actually I'm, I'm using the mid actually the filter but i haven't actually touched the filter settings at all so these are sort of so uh transmit bandwidth uh wide oh okay so the yeah right so this is um, at the moment it's set on narrow so if i go wide and then you can actually adjust the setting for whichever uh whichever whether you're using wide, middle, or narrow, so these are the act. This is a way of adjusting the actual width of those settings. That's right. Okay. Um, just to bear in mind, I've only been using this range about 20 minutes. Um, so that's on SSB, and there are separate. So for, on RX, there's um, a complete separate, uh, sort of separate set of tone controls. So I've just set the bass down a bit and the treble up, just as an experiment on receiving. And you can do that on single sideband AM, FM, and, and CW, which I haven't bothered with right now 
and then other functions beep level level limit i mean there's all sorts of stuff on here that i'm not going to go through um there's a lot of ways of adjusting this radio um but this is just to just to show you really how you do it um i've set the time uh already um so there you go uh the icom ic7300 my my, my first play with my new toy um yeah brilliant brilliant bit of kit and um uh, you know it although i did have to have a quick look on a couple of youtube videos for um it, it once you get going it is very intuitive and um yeah and brilliant having an sdr display so that you can actually see those signals um a bit clearer i'm presuming that there's a way of plugging this into the back of a computer uh, i'm guessing there is yes there is you know um because the screen is quite small but it does actually have a pretty good resolution so um uh, and i'm just really exper i'm still experimenting with this thing at the end of the day um Pretty good audio, actually. I've got to say. Nice band tuning. Really excellent on my seven five six. So I expect it to be excellent on this radio. So there you go. That's the uh, seventy three hundred. Italian PKW uh, E40. Uh, it's about 10.8 meter long. Plenty more to uh, sort of play with, but uh, so far the signs are very good. One thing I have got to do is adjust the colours on the spectrum scope, but uh, and there are ways of doing that. So, um, but I'll do a separate videos on various things, no doubt. I'm just glad I got it working. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that. There you go. Anyway, thanks for watching.